Although the James Webb Telescope has only been in operation for two years, it has already caused a significant stir in the world of astronomical research. How can we explain the early galaxies discovered by Webb that completely overturn our current theories? And what about the perplexing deviation in the cosmic expansion rate, which has long baffled researchers? Who knows? Perhaps these seemingly impossible discoveries are the result of merging with other universes. What initially sounds like the plot of a science fiction movie is actually at the heart of a recently published scientific study that could lead to an incredible breakthrough. Join us on this cosmic journey. It's not from our universe. JWST discovers four more strange galaxies older than. The view of the starry night sky is truly overwhelming, yet it raises a simple but profound question. Where does it all come from? In other words, how did the universe with its vast diversity come into existence? While people of the past primarily attributed creation to divine beings, modern scientists take a different approach. By observing other galaxies and measuring distances, experts have formed a conclusive picture of the cosmos's birth and development over recent decades. According to the Standard Model of Cosmology, it all began around 13.8 billion years ago, when space, time, and matter emerged from an unimaginably dense and hot singularity. Not only did the Big Bang pave the way for the unfolding of the universe, but it also set in motion a process that continues to this day, cosmic expansion. To explain the observed accelerated expansion of the universe, the mysterious dark energy has been invoked, though its existence has not been directly proven experimentally, and its physical interpretation remains largely unexplained. Yet, our understanding of the universe today is more precise and comprehensive than ever. But what if this is no longer true? What if our basic cosmological assumptions are becoming untenable due to new discoveries? This is the very question astronomers are currently facing. As you may have noticed, the James Webb Telescope has already detected several structures that, according to our theories, shouldn't exist at all. This particularly applies to the so-called impossible galaxies, which formed in the early universe and challenge our models with their unexpectedly large masses. Webb has identified six galactic precursors whose light took more than 13 billion years to reach us, and which, despite this, were already almost as developed as our present-day Milky Way. According to our understanding, there simply wasn't enough normal matter to form such massive structures so soon after the Big Bang. This unexpected discovery calls into question our entire picture of early galaxy formation. Subsequent findings show that this isn't an isolated case. With GSZ-140, Webb added another early galaxy to the star charts, which existed as long ago as 290 million years after the Big Bang. However, the Space Telescope not only provided experts with a new record-breaking galaxy, but also posed another challenging puzzle. The analysis revealed that GSZ-140 must have already contained several hundred million solar masses of stars. Moreover, the presence of oxygen in the emission lines suggests that several generations of massive stars had already gone through their life cycle before we observed this galaxy. In light of this, the traditional view of an early cosmos containing only small, faint galaxies seems outdated. But these so-called universe breakers are not the only cosmic oddities Webb has uncovered. The telescope has also confirmed a number of unresolved discrepancies with the Hubble constant that have puzzled scientists for years. The mystery of cosmic expansion only deepens. If anyone knows about the expansion of the universe, it's Adam Rees. The U.S. astrophysicist was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2011 alongside Saul Perlmutter and Brian P. Schmidt for discovering accelerated cosmic expansion. Regarding his recent research, Rees has stated, there is a real and exciting possibility that we have misunderstood the universe. To grasp the significance of this statement, we must consider that, contrary to expectations, the universe is not expanding uniformly. In fact, it appears to be expanding faster in our cosmic neighborhood than in other regions of space, which theoretically should not happen. The force behind the accelerated expansion of the universe is thought to be dark energy, which counters gravitational pull. The rate at which the universe is currently expanding is described by the Hubble constant, a parameter in Einstein's field equations. 
Reese explains that he and his team can predict this expansion rate by measuring the cosmic background radiation and using theoretical models to determine the current rate. This results in a Hubble constant of 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. However, things get confusing when using different measurement methods. If we determine the Hubble constant based on supernova, red giants, gravitational lenses, and Cepheids, variable stars, we arrive at a value of 73 kilometers per sec per megaparsec. In other words, the universe is expanding faster than it should. But how is this possible? The simplest explanation is that these discrepancies result from measurement errors and inaccuracies. To investigate further, Reese's team used Webb's near-infrared camera, NearCam, to examine over 320 Cepheids in various galaxies. Since many of these stars had previously been observed by the Hubble Space Telescope, the re-examination allowed for a comparison and confirmed that Hubble's data was accurate. This means the new Webb data also suggests a Hubble constant that significantly exceeds the value from theoretical models. But why is that so? This version ain't what is behind Adam Reese's statement that we have misunderstood the universe. In detail, the Nobel Prize winner suggests that there could be a process or a force driving the faster expansion of the cosmos that has not yet been accounted for in the standard cosmological model. This could be an exotic form of dark energy or dark matter. Alternatively, our understanding of gravity might be flawed. Or there could be new particles or fields that are still completely unknown to us. The merging of universes is another possibility. Ultimately, these are not the only theories to explain the Hubble discrepancy. For example, the so-called intelligent design movement argues that certain characteristics of the universe are best explained by an intelligent cause. Given that the fine-tuning of the universe contains clear indications of a conscious blueprint, this group of scientists is open to the possibility of a creator, though not precisely defined. It's not about the idea of a god, but rather a scientific examination of the thesis that the complexity and order of the cosmos point to a higher design and plan. Another hypothesis, presented in the Journal of Cosmology and Astroparticle Physics, is as exciting as it is unorthodox. The deviation in the Hubble constant could be due to our universe merging with other universes. This approach, therefore, steps away from the idea of the mysterious dark energy, which, while plausibly explaining the expansion of the universe on paper, has no confirmed existence. The fusion of cosmic worlds is considered a more likely possibility. Physicist Jan Ambjorn from the University of Copenhagen suggests that the model based on fusion with so-called baby universes could explain the collected data even better than the standard cosmological model. The lead author of the study and his team developed a mathematical model to investigate the hypothetical effects of multiple interacting universes on our cosmic home. Their calculations showed that merging with other universes would expand the volume of our cosmos, an effect that could be detected by our instruments as an expansion of space. The scientists also calculated the rate of expansion of the universe in such a scenario, and, remarkably, the calculations based on cosmic unification were more consistent with observations of the universe than the traditional standard cosmological model. In addition, the new theory addresses the problem of cosmological inflation. This refers to the phase of extremely rapid expansion of the universe, which is believed to have occurred shortly after the Big Bang. Until now, physicists have suggested that this rapid expansion was caused by the inflaton, a hypothetical field that drove ultra-fast expansion in the first milliseconds after the Big Bang. However, the authors of this new study now propose that cosmological inflation may have occurred because our young universe was absorbed by a larger parent universe. If you will, our world followed in its mother's footsteps. The scientists also suspect that our universe continued to collide with other baby universes after its absorption, swallowing them up as well. But how could this exciting theory be tested? Is it even possible to catch a glimpse of the baby universes that our ever-growing world is absorbing? Well, not exactly. The main focus of experts is currently on microwave background radiation. This nearly isotropic radiation, which fills the entire universe and was created shortly after the Big Bang, may have unexplored properties that could lead to a groundbreaking discovery in the near future. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey.
Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.